Ezekiel chapter 46. Thus says the Lord God, The gate of the inner court that faces east shall remain closed on the six working days, but on the Sabbath day it shall be opened, and on the day of the new moon it shall be opened. The prince shall enter by the vestibule of the gate from outside, and shall take his stand by the post of the gate. The priest shall offer his burnt offering and his offerings of well-being and he shall bow down at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go out, but the gate shall not be closed until evening. The people of the land shall bow down at the entrance of that gate before the Lord on the Sabbaths and on the new moons. The burnt offering that the prince offers to the Lord on the Sabbath day shall be six lambs without blemish, and a ram without blemish, and the grain offering with the ram shall be an ephah, and the grain offering with the lambs shall be as much as he wishes to give, together with a hen of oil to each ephah. On the day of the new moon he shall offer a young bull without blemish, and six lambs, and a ram, which shall be without blemish. As a grain offering he shall provide an ephah with the bull, and an ephah with the ram, and with the lambs as much as he wishes, together with a hen of oil to each ephah. When the prince enters, he shall come in by the vestibule of the gate, and he shall go out by the same way. When the people of the land come before the Lord at the appointed festivals, whoever enters by the north gate to worship shall go out by the south gate, and whoever enters by the south gate shall go out by the north gate. They shall not return by way of the gate by which they entered, but shall go out straight ahead. When they come in, the prince shall come in with them, and when they go out, he shall go out. At the festivals and the appointed seasons, the grain offering with a young bull shall be an ephah, and with a ram an ephah, and with the lambs as much as one wishes to give, together with a hen of oil to an ephah. When the prince provides a free will offering, either a burnt offering or offerings of well-being as a free will offering to the Lord, the gate facing east shall be opened for him, and he shall offer his burnt offering or his offerings of well-being as he does on the Sabbath day. Then he shall go out, and after he has gone out, the gate shall be closed. He shall provide a lamb, a yearling, without blemish, for a burnt offering to the Lord daily. Morning by morning he shall provide it, and he shall provide a grain offering with it morning by morning regularly, one-sixth of an ephah, and one-third of a hen of oil to moisten the choice flour, as a grain offering to the Lord. This is the ordinance for all time. Thus the lamb and the grain offering and the oil shall be provided, morning by morning, as a regular burnt offering. Thus says the Lord God, If the prince makes a gift to any of his sons out of his inheritance, it shall belong to his sons. It is their holding by inheritance. But if he makes a gift out of his inheritance to one of his servants, it shall be his to the year of liberty. Then it shall revert to the prince. Only his sons may keep a gift from his inheritance. The prince shall not take any of the inheritance of the people, thrusting them out of their holding. He shall give his sons their inheritance out of his own holding, so that none of my people shall be dispossessed of their holding. Then he brought me through the entrance, which was at the side of the gate, to the north row of the holy chambers for the priests. And there I saw a place at the extreme western end of them. He said to me, This is the place where the priests shall boil the guilt offering and the sin offering, and where they shall bake the grain offering, in order not to bring them out into the outer court, and so communicate holiness to the people. Then he brought me out to the outer court, and led me past the four corners of the court. And in each corner of the court there was a court. In the four corners of the court were small courts, forty cubits long and thirty wide. The four were of the same size. On the inside, around each of the four courts, was a row of masonry, with hearths made at the bottom of the rows all around. Then he said to me, 
These are the kitchens where those who serve at the temple shall boil the sacrifices of the people. Ezekiel chapter 47 Then he brought me back to the entrance of the temple. There, water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east, and the water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then he brought me out by way of the north gate, and led me around on the outside to the outer gate that faces toward the east, and the water was coming out on the south side going on eastward with a cord in his hand, the man measured one thousand cubits, and then led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again he measured one thousand, and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again he measured one thousand, and led me through the water, and it was up to the waist. Again he measured one thousand, and it was a river that I could not cross, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in, a river that could not be crossed. He said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees on the one side and on the other. He said to me, This water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Araba, and when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters, the water will become fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be very many fish, once these waters reach there. It will become fresh, and everything will live where the river goes. People will stand fishing beside the sea from En Gedi to En Eglam. It will be a place for the spreading of nets. Its fish will be of a great many kinds, like the fish of the great sea but its swamps and marshes will not become fresh. They are to be left for salt. On the banks on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food and their leaves for healing. Thus says the Lord God, These are the boundaries by which you shall divide the land for inheritance among the twelve tribes of Israel. Joseph shall have two portions. You shall divide it equally. I swore to give it to your ancestors, and this land shall fall to you as your inheritance. This shall be the boundary of the land. On the north side, from the great sea, by way of Hethlon to Lebo Hamath, and on to Zedad, Baratha, Sibram which lies between the border of Damascus and the border of Hamath, as far as Hazer Hadakon, which is on the border of Haran. So the boundary shall run from the sea to Hazar Enon, which is north of the border of Damascus, with the border of Hamath to the north. This shall be the north side. On the east side, between Haran and Damascus, along the Jordan between Gilead and the land of Israel, to the eastern sea, and as far as Tamar, this shall be the east side. On the south side, it shall run from Tamar as far as the waters of Meribath Kadesh, from there along the wadi of Egypt to the great sea. This shall be the south side. On the west side, the great sea shall be the boundary to a point opposite Lebo Hamath. This shall be the west side. So you shall divide this land among you according to the tribes of Israel. You shall allot it as an inheritance for yourselves and for the aliens who reside among you and have begotten children among you. They shall be to you as citizens of Israel. With you they shall be allotted an inheritance among the tribes of Israel. In whatever tribe aliens reside, there you shall assign them their inheritance, says the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 48. These are the names of the tribes, beginning at the northern border, on the Hethlon Road, from Lebo Hamath, as far as Hazar Enon, which is on the border of Damascus, with Hamath to the north, and extending from the east side to the west, Dan, one portion. 
adjoining the territory of Dan from the east side to the west, Asher, one portion. Adjoining the territory of Asher from the east side to the west, Naphtali, one portion. Adjoining the territory of Naphtali from the east side to the west, Manasseh, one portion. Adjoining the territory of Manasseh from the east side to the west, Ephraim, one portion. Adjoining the territory of Ephraim from the east side to the west, Reuben, one portion. Adjoining the territory of Reuben from the east side to the west, Judah, one portion. Adjoining the territory of Judah from the east side to the west shall be the portion that you shall set apart, 25,000 cubits in width, and in length equal to one of the tribal portions, from the east side to the west, with the sanctuary in the middle of it. The portion that you shall set apart for the Lord shall be 25,000 cubits in length, and 25,000 in width. These shall be the allotments of the holy portion. The priests shall have an allotment measuring 25,000 cubits on the northern side, 10,000 cubits in width on the western side, 10,000 in width on the eastern side, and 25,000 in length on the southern side, with the sanctuary of the Lord in the middle of it. This shall be for the consecrated priests, the descendants of Zadok, who kept my charge, who did not go astray when the people of Israel went astray, as the Levites did. It shall belong to them as a special portion from the holy portion of the land, a most holy place, adjoining the territory of the Levites. Alongside the territory of the priests, the Levites shall have an allotment 25,000 cubits in length and 10,000 in width. The whole length shall be 25,000 cubits, and the width 20,000. They shall not sell or exchange any of it. They shall not transfer this portion of the land, for it is holy to the Lord. The remainder, 5,000 cubits in width and 25,000 in length, shall be for ordinary use for the city, for dwellings, and for open country. In the middle of it shall be the city, and these shall be its dimensions. The north side, 4,500 cubits. The south side, 4,500. The east side, 4,500. And the west side, 4,500. The city shall have open land. On the north, 250 cubits. On the south, 250. On the east, 250. On the west, 250. The remainder of the length alongside the holy portion shall be 10,000 cubits to the east and 10,000 to the west, and it shall be alongside the holy portion. Its produce shall be food for the workers of the city. The workers of the city from all the tribes of Israel shall cultivate it. The whole portion that you shall set apart shall be 25,000 cubits square, that is, the holy portion together with the property of the city. What remains on both sides of the holy portion and of the property of the city shall belong to the prince, extending from the 25,000 cubits of the holy portion to the east border, and westward from the 25,000 cubits to the west border, parallel to the tribal portions. It shall belong to the prince." the holy portion with the sanctuary of the temple in the middle of it, and the property of the Levites and of the city, shall be in the middle of that which belongs to the prince. The portion of the prince shall lie between the territory of Judah and the territory of Benjamin. As for the rest of the tribes, from the east side to the west, Benjamin one portion. Adjoining the territory of Benjamin, from the east side to the west, Simeon one portion. Adjoining the territory of Simeon, from the east side to the west, Issachar, one portion. Adjoining the territory of Zebulun, from the east side to the west, Gad, one portion. And adjoining the territory of Gad to the south, the boundary shall run from Tamar to the waters of Meribath-Kadesh, from there along the wadi of Egypt to the great sea. 
This is the land that you shall allot as an inheritance among the tribes of Israel, and these are their portions, says the Lord God. These shall be the exits of the city. On the north side, which is to be 4,500 cubits by measure, three gates, the gate of Reuben, the gate of Judah, and the gate of Levi, the gates of the city being named after the tribes of Israel. On the east side, which is to be 4,500 cubits, three gates, the gate of Joseph, the gate of Benjamin, and the gate of Dan. On the south side, which is to be 4,500 cubits by measure, three gates, the gate of Simeon, the gate of Issachar, and the gate of Zebulun. On the west side, which is to be 4,500 cubits, three gates, the gate of Gad, the gate of Asher, and the gate of Naphtali. The circumference of the city shall be 18,000 cubits, and the name of the city from that time on shall be, The Lord is there.